In this demonstration, we're going to look at how to configure an iSCSI initiator and then connect through to an iSCSI target. So the initiator is the server, the target is the big box of disks. So what we're going to do here is we've just come onto our server that we want to connect through to our iSCSI target. We're going to come up to Tools, then we're going to go for iSCSI initiator. It's telling us that it isn't yet started, so we'll say yes to the start of the service. Next thing we need to do now is we just need to specify what it is we're going to connect to. So I'm just going to connect through to my machine called LonDC1, so we'll select Quick Connect. This returns back that we're now connected through to the target, so we'll select Done. Now that we've done all of that, we'll just click OK to close this down. Finally, what we'll do is we'll just come into Computer Management. And on Computer Management, what we want to have a look at here is just Disk Management. So on disk management, what we should be able to see is we should be able to see that we have got connected our C drive, so our local operating system disk. We've also got our E drive there, and if we scroll this down a little bit further here, we have got the two iSCSI targets that we configured in an earlier demonstration. And that's the end of this demonstration of configuring the initiator and connecting through to a target. Thank you.